guys, what's up? So today I'm posting another video. Do y'all remember when I said I would post twice a week? Um, because I I don't I don't either. Let me know if this looks stupid or not in the comments. I think it looks kind of cool, but also these lights are dead, so they're gone. But today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me kind of thing while I rant because there have been a lot of things on my mind. I know y'all have probably noticed that I've been a little weird and I haven't like been. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm gonna explain this video. I'm gonna do my makeup while I talk to y'all because I wanna talk to y'all and I think it's kinda needed because I kinda keep trying to push it off and it's not working, so yeah. Go ahead and start with my makeup before I start talking because I could talk forever and I kinda have to do my makeup, so yeah. I'm gonna kinda say what I'm doing, but also not really, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. Yeah. Before I start ranting and being super annoying, I'm gonna like, kind of update y'all what's been going on in my life before I update y'all what's been going on in my head. So, school starts Monday and right now it's Wednesday, I think. I'm so freaking excited. I'm so excited to be so school spirited and I'm just, I'm just so excited. Hmm. I look crazy. Uh. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Morphe 35F palette. Kara, shut up! I don't care, you brought up y'all! I'm not about to fight! Hey! Hey! This isn't a joke. I actually don't have a toothbrush. No, I don't. Kara threw eight. I had- All of them, I know. Yeah. Dang, Kara's getting in fights with everyone today. If any of you guys didn't know, I have scoliosis and I wear a back brace. And when school starts, I don't have to wear it anymore. I've worn it since sixth grade. It's a pretty big deal because I've been wearing it for three years. And now I can wear whatever I want. Not really because school dress code, but you kind of get- the idea. Speaking of school dress code, can I, I just, can we just like talk about that for a second? I know it's like, it's not a new thing. I know school dress code is not a new thing and I know that it's been around for a while, but like, have we, like, like, ugh. I just don't understand it at all. Like, I don't, I don't understand what's so distracting about shoulders, but everyone has them. I, I don't. I don't, I don't know. Let's not. I was gonna rant about that, but it actually gets me really mad, so let's not do that. I hit 200,000, whoa! I don't really know what I'm gonna do for that yet, but I'm trying to work that out. There's not really anything else to update you guys on. I literally haven't done anything. I wanted to do just like a rant video where I just like rant about a lot of things, but I kind of wanted to mix that with the get ready with me because I feel like that's like really, really, really negative if I just do like a rant video, kind of mixing it with the get ready with me where it's like a rant video almost, but like not to where I yell at the camera. I'm just gonna kind of talk about how I'm feeling and stuff like that. I've been feeling some type of way for a while. Ew, that was so ugly. <laughs> I've been feeling the best the past like month or two. I don't, I can't, I don't even know when it like started, but there's been a lot of things kind of going through my head and YouTube hasn't seemed like the best thing for me to do in a while. It's really hard to explain because nothing's like really going on and there's nothing that's like making me sad or anything. It's just like a whole bunch of things that I overthink and then it like makes this huge thing in my head that I just, I don't know. I told you guys in my other get ready with me video thing that I wasn't really feeling motivated to film or anything like that, but I didn't really explain why. I just didn't really have a reason. I wanna like let you guys know that I'm aware that like I'm on the internet and there are gonna be people that like comment stupid stuff and like focus on the positive and all this stuff, but if it's like really bothering me this much, I should at least talk about it and not like keep it inside. I don't know. It's still frustrating, especially when it kind of comes at me at once, you know? I have recently been getting a lot more comments like, Oh, you've changed. Oh, you're not funny anymore. Oh, your videos suck now. Oh, it looks like you don't even care. Oh, it looks like you don't even try. All this stuff. There's just been a- Wow, why does that look like that? Oh. There's just been a lot of comments relating to the fact that I've changed or grown or just a bunch of different things that irritate me a little bit. I just didn't feel motivated at all. I didn't even take like this gigantic break. I just didn't post twice a week for like two weeks and I also didn't post for a whole week. But I didn't post for that period of time. I felt super, super pressured because 
a lot of people were like making me feel like I like let them down or they're like oh Rachel like you should post or oh Rachel you need to post like you're slacking and all this stuff and it felt like it made me feel like YouTube was like a job almost and then people started bringing up Anna and saying oh Anna and Kara but they both post more than you I like them more than you now like, now every time I try to film I just feel so different like I feel so closed off and I feel like and I just seem like I don't care, but I do care. I just, like, I shut myself off. It's, ah, it's hard to explain, but like, uh. And then I feel bad because I don't post, but I want to post. I just can't film correctly. And nothing turns out the way I want it to. I feel like I'm letting people down and I like feel like I don't deserve people who are supportive to me. My thoughts are just really wild and I don't really know what the heck to do about it. So that's that. Um, and then on top of all that, I finished The Office and now I feel like I have no purpose in life. And even filming this video, I feel like I should just stop recording because I feel like I'm being annoying saying all this, but... Uh, that's kind of what's been on my mind lately and I just hope that you guys don't get mad at me for it. I don't know why you would, but... People get mad at me for anything these days. I don't know why I took a break between anything, but yeah. And yeah, I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but... Uh. So now I'm going to cut my crease. <laughs> oh, Flippin' nuggets. Oh, I'll do this one since it's pretty. I don't know why my face is red, but it is. Okay, I don't know if I should do my other eye on camera or off camera, but I'm gonna do my lashes first, I guess, before I decide anything. But I'm very indecisive, so... Comment below what I should do. My hair is getting really long and I always get so bored with my hair. Like I always have to change it up for some reason. I always have to change it. Oh, look at that light. Do you see that? Whoa. Um, it's actually probably gonna annoy me a lot. It's great, I dyed the ends of my hair with Kool-Aid, which I'm pretty sure everyone did, but that did not come out. So then in seventh grade, I cut my hair, I think right here, I'm pretty sure. I have some videos where my hair is super short. And then I cut my bangs and I burnt those. And now I wanna cut my hair short again. Hmm, wow. There's a lawnmower in the back, so sorry about that. This lighting's actually probably gonna annoy me a lot because why is it like on my face? It's like not cool. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my lashes. These are the Kim Tai lashes. These are so pretty. They're gigantic on me, but it's all right. I mean, it's all right. They're so big, but they are so <laughs> pretty. Oh my god. It's either I'm a D115 person or a. Mm, what are they called again? It's either I'm in a D115 mood or a Lionhearted Lashes mood because these are gigantic. And then my favorite lash, the D115s, those are so small compared to these. So like, get you a girl who can do both, am I right? I posted a few selfies on the gram and on Twitter with these lashes on and so many people like were asking, what lashes, what lashes? They're so pretty. They're gonna restock soon, I'm pretty sure. In like seven days, if I'm not mistaken. The sun's gonna annoy me, should I move? Or should I cover it up? I'm gonna try to cover it up. I'm gonna be a DIY queen and try to make curtains or something. These lashes are so pretty. Oh my gosh, they make me so happy. It's like kind of bad. Lock this in a second because it's like really annoying me. I didn't even know it did that. They are gigantic. That's what I'm gonna try to block. So I guess you can just watch as I try. Okay, I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. Okay, maybe it'd just be easier if I just moved. It didn't work. I didn't even try. <laughs> oh. <gasps> hey, I fixed it! Wait, can you even see me? That's such a stupid question. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera because... I don't know. Now that I look crazy on both sides, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with face makeup. I recently just got so many primers. I don't know why I bought so many. I just freaking love primers and I got like 20... Not 20, but like five. I actually used like three different primers like on the daily. So I'm gonna be extra for this get ready with me thingy too. Cause I might go somewhere. Hopefully, cause I don't wanna do this for nothing. But anyways, trying out this Smashbox photo finish primerizer thingy. Um, so far I like it. Um, yeah, that's gonna go all over my face. Just by putting this primer on my face, my face is already red. Nice. I almost tried to reach for a mirror. I don't know why I need a mirror. And then I'm gonna use a Smashbox Pore Minimizing. This does the same exact thing as the baby skin. I don't know why I bought it because I kinda wasted money on it, but whatever. And I'm just putting this where my nose area is. 
Okay, after I put that, I'm gonna go <laughs> with the Smashbox <laughs> primer water thing. Literally, there are dupes to all of these. For the first one, the Pixi H2O primer thing. For the pore minimizing the baby skin. And for this, the... Ro and then for this one, the Mario Badescu stuff, whatever that is. They all do the same things. There are only two high-end primers that I really recommend, and they're the Bye Bye Pores Primer by It Cosmetics, and then the Too Faced Hangover. They're both really good, but yeah, you don't really need to go all out with primers. I don't know why I just did, but it's whatever. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This is in the shade uh, Y235. Eat. I'm just gonna like put this on. <laughs> I still put on foundation wrong. I don't think there's like a wrong and right way to do it, but I make it look like there's a wrong way. So far, I really like the foundation. And then I'm gonna use the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. I'm pretty sure this is new. This is in 02 Light Pale. I really do like this concealer, but I'm gonna add a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape just because it's lighter and I wanna make it lighter because I got the wrong shade in the other one. About here. Because I love white under eyes. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 05. So far, I also really do like this powder as well. I'm trying out a butt ton of new stuff, and I really like this powder as of right now. I haven't tried it too many times to give it like my complete thoughts on it, but as of right now, I like it. And I don't think it has flashback, not sure, but they have like, they have a lot of different shades though. So if I got a one darker than this, it probably wouldn't have flashback if this one does, but I don't know if it does or not. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but then again, I don't know anything, so. And also, a lot of you guys have been asking why I haven't been using the airspun, and I have the translucent extra coverage. I look insane also, sorry, but I have the translucent extra coverage, and it, like, leaves this, like, pink undertone kind of thing. It's like, it leaves, like, a pink stain almost like to your face and also i like the packaging too i don't know why i like the square so much like intrigues me but like i like it and then i'm gonna use the maybelline fit me matte and poreless um face powder in 120. i also like this stuff a lot and i'm gonna use the e31 this kind of turned into a tutorial sorry but like i ran out of things to talk about so maybe i should go as i so walk and get a freaking life i've been really working on my face makeup i i used to hate doing face makeup but now I'm working on liking it and trying to get better at it because I used to be so, so bad. I'm still not that good at my face makeup, but it's, it's developing. Ow, this eyelash is like on weird in the inner corner. It's like poking my cornea. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But yeah, I'll continue to give my updates on those new products because I don't know. Ugh. I don't know why I like side. I look like a ghost, so I'm gonna bronze. I'm gonna use the Morphe M523. Oh wait, 27. I don't know why I thought that was a three. And then I'm gonna use the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. This stuff blends really well. That's why I've been using it a lot because I freaking suck at bronzer and it just like makes me a little better at it. And I'm gonna pause and smoke on my lower lash line because it's kind of bothering me. So I'm gonna go with the M506 and one of these brown shades in this. I don't remember which one I used, so I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This stuff is so pigmented. And then I'm gonna use the Morphe E53. Actually, I'm not confused because Milani is... A also, this is annoying. Sorry to be annoying, but that's annoying. Milani is such a good brand, like, wow. I actually really like blush now. I used to never wear it like a week ago. But now I'm doing it, and I love it. Ah, okay, I'm going with this ugly sponge and a, the loose powder I used earlier. And I'm going to bake underneath my contour bronzer stuff. Was she white? I don't know why I get so hyped after I'm almost done filming my video. Like, what the frick is this? I was so sad when I started filming this, and now I'm not sad, and I'm happy, and I like want to film. But like, now I'm almost done filming. <laughs> I'm gonna put this stuff up. I'll be right back. Actually, I'll, I'm still gonna be recording so I can still talk to you guys while I walk away. Hey guys, I just want to let you guys know that I miss you guys a lot. I'm gonna go with the Carly Bible palette and highlight with this one and this one and the M501. This is such a good palette and you should buy it. That's all. I freaking love Carly Bible and Izzy Perkins and Nikki Tutorials and 
I stand so many people. And for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick in 103. I haven't worn this much makeup in a while, so I'm kind of weirding myself out right now. But that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry it like switched from a get ready with me to a tutorial and like halfway through the video but I ran out of things to talk about and then I started getting super hype and in the beginning I wasn't and it, uh, hope you guys enjoyed um if you did give it a thumbs up if not then I'm sorry I probably wouldn't have liked it either sorry I haven't been posting sorry I haven't really been myself and all that jazz thank you guys for being patient and all that good stuff I appreciate it thank you again and thank you again for 2000 that's crazy I'll up to you guys on what I'm gonna do for that and yeah Bye. Bye.